Well, shooters and reloaders, Fortune Cookie 45LC coming through the hot lead zone. And today, let's compare the accuracy and performance of our powder coated 9mm 130 grain truncated cone loads with 5.3 grains of long shot powder. Let's compare that to our Winchester white box full metal jacket. Let's go to the range. So first let's go ahead and load our SIG 226 up with that Winchester white box. And now those 130 grain Lee truncated cone tumble lube powder coated cast bullet. 5.3 grains of one shot powder. 5.3. So anyway, there's group number three with the factory white box hardball. Group number two with the factory hardball. Group number one with the factory hardball. And then what I did was I shot the powder coated bullets and there's four in a group and the one thrown out for some strange reason. I didn't even call that one. And then here I just shot 20 rounds in that group there, so if you shot 20 rounds of factory hardball, you get the same thing. And the point of impact is actually the same with the factory hardball as well as these truncated cone 130 grain powder coated bullets. So they can be used interchangeably for uh, factory hardball Win Winchester white box. Well there's a five shot group offhand with those powder coated bullets huh? that's uh, that's just fine so shooters and reloaders our conclusions today are that these loads featuring the Lee cast bullet 124 grain 9 millimeter truncated cone tumble lube bullet powder coated and with 5.3 grains of long shot powder serve to make loads that are substitutes for Winchester White Box Hardball. Have a great day. We'll see you next video. Bye for now.